Hey guys! So, I know I said that my next video would probably be um, some regular kind of like face makeup with color, but over the weekend I actually had an allergic reaction to a face mask, so I'm really trying to like give my face a break. For this video, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be talking about piercings and the different kind of piercings that I have and my experiences with them mostly. Plus, I'm definitely going to include some little bonus things, like things they don't tell you when you go to get the piercings. Um, so, I'm just going to get started. First and foremost, I got all my jewelry pierced at the same piercer. So, you always want to make sure you stay consistent with who you go with. Um, also, make sure that the piercer that you go with is an APP member, which is like the Association for Professional Piercers. Um, me personally, I don't trust a tattoo place that also does piercings. I just feel like that's a little sketchy. Like that's that's like a little added bonus kind of thing to it. Um, but I mean, if you trust them, you can go with them. But I always go to the same place that's APP approved. That's like solely what they do is piercings. They know what they're doing. So the first piercing I got was my industrial. And when I was actually in the piercing place, they did it with the, they did it with a needle. Never go to somebody with a gun, like a piercing gun, because those needles are not sterilized. Um, if you go to some place that does it with a piercing gun, they're probably not trained, like specifically trained so to. Whenever I was actually sitting in the piercing shop getting it done, they were using a needle, and I'm really good with pain. But whenever he put the needle through, and he's like, one, two, three, and he pierced it in, well, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's over. He's like, okay, now I'm gonna do the second hole. And I'm like, grabbing onto the seat, I'm like, wait, that was only the first one? <laughs> but thankfully, it wasn't that bad. Uh, healing time for cartilage piercings are a lot longer than normal ones. They're actually the longest piercing time. Um, you can ask your piercer about all of that information if you decide to get one. Um, but the piercing time was a lot longer, specifically because it's two separate holes, so one might uh, heal um, faster than the other one, but also you always have to keep in mind that piercings heal from the outside in. So while it may look like it's healed on the outside, it's still trying to heal on the inside. So you just have to be careful with that and stick to the times that your piercer tells you. Like, they know what they're talking about. With piercings, um, I got my conch pierced right here. So, what he did was he pierced it and he put in the post. Well, I was having trouble with it healing because the, like, crust and stuff was staying behind the, the jewelry. So, I actually looked online to see what I could do. And even though my piercer said that he didn't recommend changing out to a hoop, I changed it out myself because I got it done in February and it is November now and it's still not completely healed at all. Like even the outside was still having trouble. So I changed it to a little ring like this, a horseshoe ring. And I feel like it's doing a lot better. I'm able to clean it easier. And although it still hurts every now and then whenever you bump it, it's understandable because it's a conch piercing. It's right in the middle of all your cartilage. Um, so, you're gonna have a little bit of a longer healing time than other piercings that you would get, but this one's definitely not that bad. Granted, conch piercings have the highest rate of uh, your body rejecting them. It's about a 50-50 chance, so, but you'll be able to tell early on if your body is trying to reject it. Um, mine was doing fine until it just wouldn't heal. So, my next piercing that I got was my septum, my septum ring right here. Um, what happened was I got it about a year ago in March. Contrary to popular belief, septum piercings are actually not in any kind of cartilage like the, the rough skin of your um, nose. What happens is there's this little sweet spot that they get that um, is just skin. So it's pretty much just like piercing an earlobe. One of the final things that, I don't know, I guess that's really important for people who want to get a septum piercing to know is one that 
I've looked all over the internet for all the information. I, like, I did my research before I got it. I even talked to my piercer very thoroughly before I got my septum piercing to make sure I knew everything that they would tell me. And the one thing that my piercer never told me, and whenever I mentioned it to him after, he's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> the one thing that nobody ever tells you when you go to get a septum ring or even like a regular like nostril piercing, the one thing they never tell you is that you will get so many boogers on your ring. It is unbelievable. That is one of the most common things that you have a problem with is that whenever you go to clean your jewelry, you have to clean it really well. And actually like nose piercings and septum piercings I find are one of the ones that you have to clean most often like around like two or three times a day just because there's so much stuff that's in your nose that can like infect the piercing or it can get lodged in it and it's uncomfortable. It's one thing that I did have a problem with but that was only if I really kept my nose ring inside my nose. So like now I have an infinity hoop. I find it's a little more discreet than like a horseshoe or uh, other kind of jewelry that you can get if you want to be discreet. Though, if you want to have, like, the really, like, big nose, uh, nose rings, go all ahead, go do it. But I like the more discreet one. Well, you know it's there, but to me it doesn't get in the way of anything. Because I have a small little bridge of space right here, so I need to make use of that too. <laughs> so, of all the piercings that I've gotten, I don't regret any of them at all. I feel like they're beautiful, and I love, like, passing by a mirror and, like, catching them. You know, like seeing them in the mirror, like, oh, look at that nice. I can match them. Um, like, I always wear, like, my black jewelry. So I have, like, a black bar and a black horseshoe. Um, I might change it out soon because it's healing pretty well. So, yeah, guys. Um, I guess that's all I have for today. Um, I'll try to post more often if you want. Um, I'll make sure to get that video out as soon as I can. School's really tough for me right now, but I have a holiday coming up. So I'll try to get more material out. If you want to see more videos from me or if you're interested in more material, just let me know. Um, just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!